Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at this Adams Flea and Tick shampoo that I purchased off Amazon um, for $10.60. It's highly recommended, number one bestseller on Amazon for Flea and Tick shampoos. Over 400 positive reviews, four out of five stars. This is the Flea and Tick shampoo made with Precor. It kills fleas, ticks, lice, flea larvae, flea eggs, which is much needed as opposed to just killing adult fleas. Um, because the larvae and the eggs can last up to like, supposedly like a month. You don't want that. So this is both for cats and dogs along with their, um, the young itself, do you see it? It's made with these active ingredients, pretty sophisticated in itself, uh, a lot of great reviews. Uh, basically, you have to use about one and a half, let this say right here, one and a half, um, one to one third tablespoon for five pound of pet. Basically, uh, wet the dog, lather it up, let it stay for, for 30 to five minutes, and supposedly it's supposed to provide protection for up to um, 20 days. It says repeat every 10 to 10, 7 to 10 days is recommended. Let's go ahead and uh, put this good Previously, use, we? we've been using this Hearts Ultra Guard Red Flea and Tick Shampoo. You get it at local Walmart stores like that. Basically, it kills fleas and ticks, I believe. But that's probably in the adult stages, so not the larva and the eggs. It does an okay job, huh? When I use it, I notice the fleas wash off dead but some of them are still alive so it's not the best product okay i'm lathering i'm wetting akira with warm lukewarm water soaking her body real good before i apply the shampoo let's take a look at the shampoo and see what it looks like it's kind of like a lime green color like kiwi fruit color let me take a sniff of it it actually smells pretty decent. It smells like a regular human shampoo. Let's go ahead and do the pour the right amount and then lather and cure up before we rinse her off, right? Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna use a measuring spoon, but roughly that would be like 10 to 11, probably like 11 tablespoons. Five per pound, one and a third per five pounds. So 10 times that roughly. Oh my, I'm sorry, I'm at like six tablespoons roughly. So we have to estimate about that. And make sure to keep out of the eyes of the pets and the mouth. The amount of shampoo that you saw me use was enough to cover Kira. So it, it's probably not as much needed as it recommended. Let's see how many death fleas we can find. There's a couple of them, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So about ten. You just want to let that uh, sit for about five, six okay, minutes. It's been well over. Wait, hey, don't get out, don't get out. It's been well over six minutes. I think I gave it like seven or eight minutes just make sure that it's time to tear off with warm water let's see how many dead fleas fall Good usually when she flicks like that, I usually see that wings. Looks like it's been good so far. Alright guys, so Akira has used this whole bottle of Adam's Flea and Tick Shampoo. What is our final assessment? Initially, when we put this shampoo to good use, um, it seemed to do its job pretty well considering that, you know, if you leave it on the dog or the pet, for about its recommended time, you know, and then the fleas would try to jump out and die on its own. 
Um, that was before when I used any uh, actual flea medication such as the super strong trifexis. But unfortunately, it doesn't really do a great job on prevention. Um, fleas still kind of like still appeared on the cure. I was very disappointed by that. That's when I decided to finally give, give up and see my local vet to get some of these super strong trifexis. This is pretty expensive. It's like $25.99 each or you get like a six pack for like $160, something like that with a $10 rebate. So I went with that. Um, yeah, I mean, the smell is pretty good. And the reviews on Amazon were, were, were yeah, pretty good also. But some people are just complaining that it doesn't really do much prevention. So that's my only gripe about it. It's not a bad shampoo, but it's not the greatest out there. Hey, Kira, sit down. So I think on a scale 100%, I think Akira is going to just hook this up with a uh, 79%. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And next time, I might review this. Actually, we are going to review this. Tropic Clean Flea and Tick Neon and Citrus Pet Shampoo. Even though she probably doesn't need it because she has the trifixes going on. But we still have to review it because I bought it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care of yourself and your pets. All right.